Now the family of the co-founder of the Good News International Church that is feared to have lost seven family members in Shakahola is blaming the police in Malindi for failing to act on numerous reports about the church's activities. The family of Ruth Kadzo, who was the initial founder of the church, says it raised the alarm over the safety of their loved ones in the cult multiple times, but police refused to act. The family told Citizen TV that they were ousted from the church when the controversial Mackenzie pulled a coup on the church's leadership and turned the teachings into cultic practices. Brenda Wanga with more details. 80-year-old Ruth Kazo stares forlornly into space. She joins members of her family at the Melindi Sub County Mortuary. They had been called here to provide DNA samples to help them ascertain whether her daughter, grandchildren and great-grandchild are among the bodies being held here. Kadzo is a co-founder of the Good News International Church, now associated solely with Paul McKenzie. But it wasn't always like that. Samuel Kapathe is one of Kadzo's children and a former member of the church. He shows us the church's humble roots in this compound in Kisumu Ndogo, Malindi town. He says his mother founded the church alongside Paul McKenzie in the early 2000s. Na hivyo ndivyo dini ya Good News ilianza. Manake walioendelea kujiunga nao akiwemo mmoja wao alikuwa ni Paul McKenzie, alikuja wakajiunga na mama na wakaendelea. Na eventually wakaona sasa ile ushiriki kwa rumu haitoshi ndio mama akawapatia hiyo nafasi ili waanze ushirika Samuel says his family soon fell out with Mackenzie when he started teaching contrary to the family's beliefs. Ni makosa elimu, ni makosa hospitali, ni makosa vitu kama hivyo vilianza sasa kwenda na kinyume na vile ambavyo tumelelewa. Tumelelewa ya kwamba unaweza enda kanisa kuomba Mungu na still you can go to hospital. Tunaenda mashuleni kufunzwa tunapata elimu kwake ni makosa. So ilikuwa imeanza kwa umbali umbali tu by then haikuwa imeshika kasi. Unajua kitu kikianza unaweza ona ni kama ni kidogo kutajua kumbe kitakuja kitashika kasi baadaye. This building behind me was home to the Good News International Church for the first six years of its existence. And even then the family of one of the co-founders of that church say they had no idea that what they were nurturing here would cause untold pain and suffering for so many families. Mackenzie soon left and relocated to Furunzi area of Malindi where he set up the church's headquarters that operated on the controversial teachings until 2019 when it was shut down. Samuel says, while well, the rest of the family left the church, his sister and her husband, Mary and Smith, stayed on, strictly following the church's teaching. Mary and her five children and grandchild are now missing, and the family blames the police for inaction. Nili report pale malindi. Mimi personally, I went with my wife to kind of kaeleza kwamba dada yetu anatoa watoto shuleni kwa sababu ya mafunzo mabaya ya Pastor Mackenzie. Lakini kachukuliwa tu hivyo hivyo. Ilikuja nikaenda tena nikareport tena. My elder brother went there to report. Kuna wakati hata tulimchukua mama aende akabuku pia yeye kama mtoto wake ili ionekane na uzito. Lakini asasi za usalama zime zina relax tu. Naona while the security agents in the region continue to be blamed for failing to act, this family is now turning its focus and energy on finding out exactly what happened to their kin who may have fallen victim to the church turned cult whose birth they were part of. Brenda Wanga, Citizen TV, and Malindi.